Well, if you're itching to get into something, we've got some mosaic that's still got spots at 7.30. It's on the website, but I think we've still got a few spots left in it if you want to get into that this evening. But yeah, that noir is going to be awesome. I'm looking forward to that myself. Well, alrighty, let's get started with our 2018-2019 Upper Deck SP Game Used Hockey Random Player One Box Break Number One. Just like with all of our random player breaks, we list everybody in random.org in the order of which they purchase their spots. We will randomize that list five times and then match that up against an alphabetical player list from the product. Good luck, everybody. Once. Twice. Three times. Four, and lucky number five. All right, we've got Joshua Pear at four in the top spot. And we've got K9 Jeff 4969 in the bottom spot. So we just cut and paste that there. I'm going to cut and paste to the right and sort by everyone's eBay IDs. And we will scroll through our list before opening our box. We'll see who everyone has in the break. You know, David. Luckily for me, I can, and that might be that might that might be the the only one I can pronounce on this checklist. But luckily, I I've got lots of years of experience pronouncing that one. No, I'm I'm good with most of them. So honestly, some of the newer uh, Finnish names, I'm probably not familiar with, but. Honestly, a lot of the 80s and 90s hockey names are not an issue just because I was probably a little more in touch with those cards during that time. Whereas some of the, the, the younger players might be a little bit of an issue for me. I used to do quite a bit with hockey cards back in the day. I never worked in it from a developmental standpoint. Uh, but I, you know, I like the cards. I like the products. I know a couple of the folks at Upper Deck that develop these, or one of them, I should say. I spent some years working with him, who's very, very sharp, and puts together a really good product. So uh, they put. I, I would love to do more hockey, honestly. Boy, wouldn't it though? Wouldn't that be nuts pulling a Gretzky? I mean, I'd be happy with a Gretzky jersey, but imagine pulling a Gretzky auto. I think he, you know, there's certain players that are transcendent of their sports as far as marketability and obviously recognition within the hobby, and obviously he's one of those. I think any, even the most diehard of baseball collectors would be pretty excited pulling the Wayne Gretzky auto.
Now that sounds like a good rip, Joe. I, I know that it might have been a little disappointing not hitting Elite, but those Diamond Kings, those are nice. I feel like that's such a great consolation prize on those boxes. Like that's almost a fail safe. If you get the boxes cheap enough, then it, you you know you you're kind of even though I know the Diamond Kings don't you know it's not a huge money play. I just in my mind from a a, a conceptual value standpoint, I feel like that's your your safety net on those. You know, I forgot that Piazza was a rated, you know, because he was in, what, the 92 Donruss Rookies product where they had the Phenoms and stuff like that, but then they ran him in the rated rookie. I always forget about that. If you hadn't have mentioned it, I wouldn't have even thought that that was another, I mean, that's another point of value in that product. I mean, again, not a ton of money, but you know what I mean. There's, there's a certain value component to that card. And I, everybody, you know, I'm always so fixated on his 92 stuff, the Bowman, the Fleer Update. But yeah, I forgot that, that that was his first mainstream Donner's card. Although the Rookies product was a, a box and pack product, but it gets tended, it kind of gets treated as like a traded set. Well, I was, that's quite a trip down memory lane too. It certainly is. Honestly, that's why I buy all this old stuff to open in between breaks. I just, I like it. Brings back good memories. It really does. Boy, this checklist is long. No. No, I, I, I consider that $15 extremely well spent. I mean, let's be honest, what what a substantial value can you get for 15 bucks these days? You know what I mean. I mean, I, I, I would consider that pretty good spend. I would do that. Plus, that's a, that's a big box, too. I imagine it took you quite some time to open all those packs. Not the quickest of processes, which is good, and I don't mean that in a negative way. I mean, that's some, you know, that's some entertainment time right there for $15. It's funny how I can just about justify any type of card expenditure. Not to brag, but I've got really great at, at that over the last 40 years. I didn't realize this check was this, was this long. Oh, did you get one of those choice boxes? One of those uh, mosaic choice boxes? Yeah, those 36 packs last us just a little bit longer than that, that choice box will. Well, that's good. Hopefully you'll hit something big out of those. All righty. Now that we've went through our list, let's see what we get. Good luck, everybody. Hopefully we hit something fun and entertaining. Oh, I forget they've got the little seal sticker here, too. So here's our pack. I believe this is a six-card pack, and I want to say there's four hits in this. It's pretty nice value. Let's see. Yeah, four autographs, memorabilia, or premium hits per box. So let's see. I'd say I have high hopes for this. I'm not going to lie. All right. 
first card is James Van Riesmanick. And this is serial numbered 159 out of 162. It's inkjet, so it's a little, you can pick it up there. Our next card is Anders Lee. And that's serial number 31 out of 162. Wow. Well, the next card, Jiminy Crickets. Wow. How about this? Supreme Patches. Michelle Goulet. And this is a old school jersey. You can tell by that prominent mustache. I'm assuming this player looks like he's from the early 80, early to mid 80s. Serial number 415. Let me get this in a sleeve. My Lord. Nice big patch there. You can see a little scuff mark. Might have been mixing it up with somebody. I mean, that was the 80s in the NHL. Serial number 415. How about that? That's pretty nice. Not too shabby. Not too shabby. Let's see if the information is game used, of course. Wow. It's pretty nice. Our next card is a Jonathan Mar. I'm not going to even try to pronounce that. Banner Year. Looks like a little piece of jersey and a little piece of patch up there at the top. Okay. So this is part of the banner from the final celebration. I thought it was, but I wanted to look at the back to make sure. Nice gimmick, fun, and something that's done a lot in this product with other special games and stuff like that. Our next card is Ricky Sweater's Michael DeCala, and that is serial numbered 88 of 199. And then our last card is a Nolan Patrick jersey card. Not too shabby. Well, all righty. Let's go through our list and see who got which cards. Actually, I'm going to re-sleeve this Ricky sweater. I don't like that being in that smaller sleeve. I mean, it fits just fine. I just don't like doing that with the thicker cards. All right. I guess it would help if I switched my screen. Yeah, two flyers, David. It was crazy. So our Michael DeCola Ricky Sweaters jersey goes to 505 Sports. Congrats on that. I guess I should do our base cards first. I forgot about those. Our Anders Lee base card goes to 505 Sports. Wow, two cards, two cards for 505. Congrats on the double up there. And then our James Van Riesmick base card goes to BMC US. Congrats on that. And then our Jonathan Marshall Banner Year card goes to K9Jeff4969. Congrats on that. And then our Nolan Patrick jersey card goes to K9Jeff4969. Doubling up. Congrats on that. And then our awesome Michelle Goulet Quebec Nordiques Jumbo Supreme Patch, serial number to 15, goes to Mr. Pepperjack. 
Congratulations on that. How about that? Pretty snazzy. Of course, this is one of the centerpiece insert sets of this product where they have the jumbo patches. It's pretty nice, though. Nice vintage swatch of NHL game used jersey. Love the scuff mark there, too. That's really nice. Pretty darn nice. Well, all righty. That, uh, that concludes our 2018-2019 Upper Deck SP Game Used Hockey Random Player One Box Break Number One. Thanks to everybody that bought spots in the break. As always, we appreciate you all supporting our breaks. Thanks to those of you watching with us on the live feed this evening as well. And we'll be back here in a couple minutes with our 2018 Panini Prism Football Random Player One Box Break Number Two. Thanks again, everybody. All right, now we get to the big box. It looks really big, but it's not really that big. I think there's 12 packs, 12 cards. A little pricey, though, because this is a hobby box. Should be good, though. I am going to get the random set up real quick, and we're going to start just a few minutes late on this. I apologize for the delay, but I do have 45 minutes set aside for it. And I am going to grab a quick snack and then wash my hands. I'm going to grab a handful of almonds. Let me get the random set up first. Make sure we haven't sold any other spots. I think we still had a few left in this. So 